What's up and good morning, everybody. My name is Corey. Thank you for tuning in with me this morning. Um, I hope that the audio is better. I redid it a little bit. Uh, you know, if you comment, subscribe, like the channel, like the videos that we're doing, and help out a little bit, that's the way I can make changes. Uh, your feedback is the only way that I'm able to make changes and make this channel better for you. Um, so thank you for that. Um, so let's just get into today and what's going on. What you see in front of you is a uh, the new company website that I've been working on um, where you're going to be able to get crypto news. It's, I just want to make it like a great place to like get good news for crypto, uh, news for being healthy and like eating right and like good meditation practices and stretching and like being healthier and being able to take your mind like off of the financial markets when they're dishing down the way that they have been. Um, and like I'm going to put some music on there too and if you guys have um, if you guys are music producers at all and you produce and you want to try to get some of your stuff uh, out there a little bit, I'd love to feature your tracks. So send uh, or uh, you know DM me if you guys uh, want to try to get your tracks featured. I'd love to put them on. I produce music myself, so anything that I put on that's new, I'm going to put on this website. If you guys have any new featured tracks that you guys want to do, also I can put them on this website as well with some links. So definitely send them over. Um, anyway, what's going on today is uh, Elisa DiCaprio at Elisa De DiCap. Uh, tired of having the crypto discussion with your boss at Inside R Three's got your back. Quarter Settler enables Swift GPI to settle payments on blockchain, which is a forty trillion dollar uh, system. Uh, so anyway, I wanted to go and look up this article. Uh, it is on CoinDesk.com. In report. In a report published last week, Swift said that following a, su a successful proof of concept with R3's core platform, it could soon be enabling GPI payments on distributed ledger technology-based trade platforms. In the report, the firm said 55% of Swift cross-border payments are now being made over GPI, a payments flow worth $40 trillion. Um, it's also notable that R3 began testing its quarter set Corda Settler payments engine with XRP, the native cryptocurrency of Ripple. So this is big news because Swift is the uh, main like technological network that transfers money globally. Um, it's like the United States network. Um, and to put that in relation to where um, XRP's price is right now, which I believe like today it's like 31 cents. Um, if you take forty trillion dollars worth of money transfer and there's a hundred billion XRP tokens, each XRP token needs to be worth four hundred dollars in order to um, in order to cover the total value of assets that need to be transferred back and forth, you know, daily or monthly or whatever the uh, whatever the the rate is. Uh, so I just wanted to see that. So it's 31 cents right now, and if and if Swift starts using XRP as their uh, distributed ledger protocol, uh, you know, you could be looking at like $400 easily. And people talk about seeing a $10,000 XRP price. Uh, let's not go crazy here, but um, just with one company, you can see the absolute change that could happen to this. Uh, moving forward. Uh, one of the things that's happening is the United States is having trouble figuring out what they're going to do with their uh, security. Uh, it can exchange commission decisions on cryptocurrency and allowing uh, companies to get started and you know how they're going to deem uh, cryptocurrency laws. But uh, another major company is moving to... Um, a new location because the United States can't figure out how to how to regulate cryptocurrency and so companies are fleeing and this is a big problem especially because this is the kind of technology that's going to be presented uh, in support of the new you know financial industry so um, just bringing some light to to the fact that you know we really need to uh, speak out about this stuff because in the forefront of technology like when the internet came out uh, the United States became a major superpower at that point because uh, we held you know uh, Silicon Valley 
put its name on the map because we held most of the technology that started uh, running on the internet. So we don't want to be left behind when most of the technology is coming out to start the new internet of money. All right. Um, so this came out. Uh, WireX co-founder and CEO Pavel Matviev uh, stated that XRP is a good example, which is purely a security token. Um, this is a great way to lose business. Ripple is Ripple is the company that owns most of the XRP tokens on the ecosystem, but they did not um, they did not sell XRP to the general public. It was already a public decentralized blockchain that they bought 50% of. So it is not a security token. Uh, security token. What is security? The term security is a fungible, negotiable financial instrument that holds some type of monetary value representing an ownership position in a publicly traded corporation via stock. Well, Ripple is not a publicly traded corporation, it is a private company, and XRP is a decentralized public blockchain, which is owned mostly by Ripple. So anyway, that's the clarity on the two. Um, XRP is definitely not a security so um, yeah anyway so I hope that we so anyway uh, that's pretty much it for today there's one other thing that I wanted to do um, because this is my channel and I love to do some music, I have something new that I've been working on. It's only like the very, very intro, some ideas, but I thought that I would share it with you guys and you could give me some feedback on it. And then uh, after it's finished, we'll be uh, done with the video. So I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, peace.